The industry has for some time been eager to build on the cost savings represented by a greater energy and operational efficiency. And we're now seeing a wider scale movement to um, electrification and smarter, cleaner technologies that will also contribute to emissions reduction. We're seeing how the gold mining sector via power purchase agreements and industry pressure on both commercial and policy fronts can support the transition of the grids, the electricity that is supplied to the mine. The gold industry is doing a number of things to decarbonise and reduce greenhouse gas emissions, but I want to focus on what Golden Star is doing in the first instance. And, and this year in particular is going to be a really important year for Golden Star because we're looking again in quite close detail within our businesses to conduct detailed energy audits within our business. Now, the energy audits have two really important functions. The first one is to benchmark where we are now and to understand what the current impact is that our business is happening. But the equally important part of this process is to identify energy opportunities as we move forward. And now these energy opportunities are really critical to us because by cataloguing these energy opportunities, we can identify what we're going to be able to achieve in the remit of what we currently have as energy plans within the business. So we'll be looking at all of those opportunities and saying, if we don't make those improvements, what will the cost, the fully internalised cost be to our business and the environment? And that's really very motivating because this then becomes the key driver for undertaking these improvements as we move forward. So not only is it realistic that the gold mining industry hits net zero by 2050, but it's absolutely essential for the future of the planet, global citizens, and the gold mining industry itself. A lot of companies like Newmont have set interim targets. So for us, we have set a emissions reduction target decreased by 30% by 2030, with the ultimate goal of being net zero by 2050. So we have had to embed climate considerations into the way we make investment decisions, we have committed $500 million to climate initiatives over the next five years. We will be looking at electrification of production processes and vehicle technology. We will be switching out diesel fuel for natural gas and biofuels where we can. And then finally looking at how we capture and store atmospheric carbon through reforestation programs. So there is a long way to go, but it is absolutely essential that the industry gets to net zero by 2050. It is realistic to think gold mining can um, be net zero by 2050 because more than 80% of the challenge in that shift is all about addressing gold mining's consumption and generation of electricity. If the global economy is to decarbonize on a scale and at a rate to arrive at net zero by mid-century, it needs to have effectively implemented the energy transition making renewable power sources more widely accessible and cost-effective. Investors are increasingly thinking about how to incorporate climate change into the design of their investment portfolios. And given the physical and transition risks associated with climate change, we believe that there is an increasingly important role for gold, that it can actually help mitigate these climate risks as part of a diverse portfolio. This is an area we think we're going to see a lot more thought about and developed over the next few years. Well, we describe gold as a, a potential climate risk mitigation asset because we think uh, in addition to its um, more established role as a safe haven and store of value, we think gold may also prove uh, relatively robust in the face of those extended risks and instabilities that might be imposed by climate change. You know, markets are likely to be thrown into some turmoil and, and gold has repeatedly proven itself as offering uh, stability and balance under such circumstances. And if we then, you know, also consider that gold as an asset has the, has the potential to be a carbon neutral, uh, it may represent to, um, to asset owners and managers a potential tool so they may better be able to manage and mitigate climate related risks in their portfolios.